Hello there. My name is Hector and I run a website called politicalscams.me. I am a journalist, an activist, and a libertarian. And I want to explain to you something that happened to, to me which was unfortunate. It was on 9-11 on Wednesday. And I want to invite you to openly assess my, the altercation between me and a campus police officer. This is not an invitation for arm, armchair quarterbacks to tell me how I should and how I should not act. I really implore you to judge as a human being if you think this is justice. Before I do that, before I present you with the video, I want to introduce the context. I got detained, arrested, and processed for graffiti. And in the city ordinance, graffiti is defined as the placing, scratching, scribbling, otherwise any other character, mark, of type, which is commonly known as graffiti. Any form capable of being used in the marking or defacing of property within the city. The sidewalk that I scribbled and with chalk impeach Obama this is what I wrote on the pavement with washable chalk and as you can see there are some droplets on the pavement which indicate it was raining I illustrate this point because it was about to rain and the rain was due to wash this away defacing property is defined in legal definition as deliberately damaging something valuable by writing on it or breaking it okay so I do I did write on it but do you think this devalues the, the property did I irreparably did I break this pavement freedom of speech protects free expression but when you are breaking the law or statues then it does not protect it, irregardless of content. Moreover, people complained of me harassing them and molesting them, or so, or so said the arresting officer, that he received several complaints of people feeling harassed and molested. Make, it, uh, make of that as you will. Since none of these messages are threatening, I don't understand as to how that can be possible. Apparently, chalking is a very controversial topic, especially for the court. There are many court cases that have ruled against chalkers. But I want to read to you a quote from MotherJones.com, and it follows the case of people who have been arrested for free expression with chalk. In cases where chalking arrests have gone to court, the article says, some judges ha have sided with the chalkers. In 1992, Christopher McKinney was arrested in Ber Berkeley, California, for using chalk to write, a police state is more expensive than a welfare state. We guarantee it. He sued the department for false arrests, and the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled his case could move forward because no reasonable officer could have assumed that McKinney, McKinney violated the state vandalism law. More recently, in Florida, Occupy, La <laughs> Occupy Laredo. More recently, in Florida, Occupy Orlando protester Timothy Osmer, who spent 18 days in jail for chalking, won a free speech case against the city and received $6,000 in damages. The case ended up costing the city $190,000 in legal fees. Here, I will also like to point out another article which was briefly referenced in MotherJones.com. Judge Orlando violated chalk protesters' free speech rights. In his 10-page ruling, U.S. District Magistrate Judge David A. Baker wrote that the pro protester Timothy Osmer was clearly protected by the First Amendment when he scrawled the political messages, particularly in the public plaza. The ruling leaves the city on the hook to pay as yet the undetermined damages and attorney fees. 
here is another more important underlying statement that I'm going to talk to you about. Literally using the public square, which is a pavement, is akin to the sop box operator who knows his words may be lost to the winds. I will also post this other story which you should follow. There are many cases where constitutional rights have been defended and again the Supreme Court also has cited against chalkers. Now that I have established the context and told you a little bit about what I do and who I am, I'm going to present this video and although you might say, well Hector you are an obnoxious, irritating, defiant person, you deserve it really consider the outcome of what happened to me. If this officer was really concerned with the law and with the well-being of people, then he would have investigated again his premise, which is the graffiti. Graffiti obviously has to be defacement of property and a marking which devalues or destroys the building. Clearly, any common sense person will say there is no destruction of property here. In conclusion, what is more concerning? The defiant, rebellious nature of a college student or the authoritarian mindset that is prevalent in our officers? You decide for yourself. Please let me know what you think. The problem is when you start writing stuff like that, that's called graffiti. It's washable and the uh, Supreme Court has actually ruled that this could be done, so it's actually lawful and legal. For you to write down? It yes, sir. Defamation of property yeah, property it's actually, property. this is washable. Here, let me, let me, we're, a, we're the taxpayer, we pay for this particular institution, uh -huh. and you can see from here, that sidewalk chalk. So it's totally erasable. I understand that, but did you get permission from the property owner? To I am right continuing now? to answer your question, which is that we don't need permission yeah, since it is a voluntary, voluntary thing, which we all pay for our taxes right here. That's fine. So we're. I this pay is, taxes too, but it still doesn't give me the right to defamate property, someone else's property. Sir, uh, let's not argue about semantics. This is basically the same thing on the Supreme Court, and I can print out the same court cases. And I'm, I'm, you can take me to court, you can arrest me, but the same thing. Well, it's a very concerning thing when we're only chalking with washable chalk. Yes. So, so you're going to clean it up? No, I'm not going to clean it up. Well, then you're going to leave it there? Yes. Okay. What do we pay our taxes for? Like I said, you're writing down on, without the, the permission of the property owner. Oh, who's the property owner? Tell me. LCC. Oh, and who pays LCC? You need to go talk to the president. He's the one who gave you I like your smile, sir. Yeah. No, but I seriously, like no. Well, what what do you propose we do in order to be able to... Let's go to the office real quick. Uh, you're detaining me? You're being detained right now. How so? You're not read my rights. Sir. You haven't even said what, what right something. I have or <laughs> what am I doing. Here, hold this camera. Yeah, hold the camera. Okay. No, shoot it in my direction, dude. What are you doing? There you go. Just hold the camera. <laughs> Make sure you get a good picture of me. Okay? 